and welcome to another episode of What the F*** is Happening, Quarantine Edition, Round 2. Now, today we're going to talk about plastic. Why, you ask? Well, because it is a serious problem, and since you're probably looking for things to do, now would be a really great time to pick up some good recycling habits. Just to give you an idea, one garbage truck of plastic is entering the ocean every minute. Yeah, and that's going to be doubled by 2030 and quadrupled by 2050. Yikes. Now, I've always considered myself to be an environmentally conscious person. You know, things like uh, turning off the lights when I leave the house and sleeping without the AC and, of course, recycling. Those are all second nature to me. So when Final reached out and offered to send me one of their absolutely adorable, portable and reusable straws, obviously I didn't hesitate. I mean, look, as much as we all want to help the environment, nobody likes a soggy straw. <laughs> Come on, how cute is this? I also thought that it was even more relevant these days so that you can safely enjoy your favorite drinks at home while also reducing waste and contamination risks by foregoing the delivery add-ons. Whenever I order food delivery now, I leave a note asking not to add straws or utensils and to leave the items at the door. And then I wash everything down outside, pour my drink into a little cup at home, take out my final straw and enjoy. But to get back to plastic, I feel like a professor with this. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> um, look, I was already sold on this idea before I learned about the founder, Emma Rose Cohen and her mission to educate people about plastic pollution. But oh, wow, I mean, once I started reading, I was shocked at how little I actually knew. Like I thought I knew a lot. Do you have any idea how many everyday items we think are recyclable, but they actually aren't? I mean, imagine all of this time that we've spent trying to do the right thing, only to find out that it was all for nothing, or it possibly was even making the situation worse. Now, are you ready for the biggest recycling fronts of all? plastic bags and plastic straws. Yep. The moral of the story is that plastic is actually really, really difficult to recycle. So recycling, unfortunately, is not the solution to our plastic pollution crisis. Believe it or not, Emma actually says, when in doubt, throw it out. Yeah, you heard that right. People tend to put something in the recycling bin if they think it can be recycled. Throwing it in the recycling bin instead of in the garbage makes us feel good. You know, this is called wish cycling. And yeah, well, however, what ends up happening is that the entire halls of otherwise recyclable materials are sent to the landfill because someone was a dumbass and ruined the bin for everyone else. But we need to do even better and actually tackle the problem at the source. Look, if your bathtub was overflowing, you wouldn't just reach for a mop, you would reach for the tap. So I asked Emma and her team at Final if they would help debunk some common myths about recycling and give us some real tips on how to live more sustainably. I'm happy to present to you Final's final tips for sustainable living. The saying goes, reduce, reuse, then recycle. So make sure reduce is the first thing that you're doing. I know, I know, we're millennials and we live for Postmates. But seriously, we need to stop with this single use crap. Leave a note that you don't want plastic utensils and use your own silverware. In today's corona era, that is not only eco-friendly, it will also significantly lower your risk of getting sick. Most of us have dishwashers, so it's really not that big a deal to throw your leftovers in a Tupperware container, preferably glass. And on that note, consider using Tupperware instead of Ziploc bags and saran wrap. And let's just stop buying paper plates and plastic silverware altogether. I mean, come on, we're adults now. Paper plates stop being cool after our like, fifth birthday. And we need to save our money for toilet paper these days, right? Obviously, everyone's got to eat, but not all of us have access to zero waste bulk areas in our grocery stores. So what I do when I'm shopping is I just look for containers that are made out of items that are easier to recycle, like aluminum or paper instead of single-use plastic. Mm -hmm. Who would have thought? I always recommend purchasing your items in bulk whenever you can. Now, this is a triple win because it's eco-friendly, saves you money, and it saves you trips to the grocery store. So yeah, I mean, the bulk buying is a no-brainer for me. Stop buying new clothes. I only shop at thrift stores. I have for the last year. Got these sweet sweater used. Way better. You know, considering that we're only wearing sweatpants these days, that part is kind of easy for me. Social distancing has taught me how few of my clothes I actually need. This, first store. 
say no to single use. No, 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 thank you, single use. I don't need you, I don't want you, single use, no more. Now, this can apply to opting out of plastic utensils for delivery, as well as saying no when you're going out to eat. Personally, I cannot wait to be allowed to go out to eat again so that I can bring my final straw with me in its cute little carrying case. And make sure to shop plastic free as often as possible. I also like to keep my car filled with cute reusable grocery bags so that I don't have to use the ones in the store. Buy your fruits and veggies without the plastic packaging. Purchase fresh bread instead of bread that's packaged and then bring your own bags for the rice and nuts bulk bins. I even like to buy one extra large soap container and then I fill up all of my other glass soap dispensers. Basically, just do your best to avoid packaging as much as you can, especially now when you want to avoid touching any non-essential items when you go grocery shopping. And of course, make sure to get one of these adorable final straws. They're super cute and they add a really luxurious touch to at home beverages. It'll serve as a great conversation starter to spread the word about sustainable living once we are all finally allowed out again and it's also been a great reminder for me to do my part. Final's website at final.co has been a really helpful resource for all of my questions and you can purchase your final straw directly from there. I also included a word doc that you can download to keep all of these tips and everything else handy because you know, this might all seem a little bit overwhelming, but I really, really believe that sustainable living will be the legacy of our generation. It's really motivating to see how many companies are out there who are really taking their impact on the world to heart, and they're coming up with really cool, innovative, and fun ways to change the culture around sustainability. So, with that being said, I hope you learned a thing or two. I know I did. Thank you to Emma and the whole team at Final, and please share this video if you want to change the culture around plastic. Now and always.